The Anglo-Australian mining giant Rio Tinto has been in the spotlight after the recent release of its production results for the first quarter of the year. The company's iron ore shipments haven't been as high as expected, and it's been given warnings for further risks arising due to soaring inflationary pressure. The impact of the Russia-Ukraine crisis, as well as the recent revival of the pandemic-induced lockdowns in China. On the 20th of April, Rio Tinto released its first quarterly results. According to CEO Jacob Stalsholm, production numbers weren't up to scratch due to several challenges faced by the company in the first quarter. The shipment of the steel-making commodity declined from 77.8 million metric tons a year in the first quarter last year to 71.5 in the three months ending March 31. And as compared to the previous quarter, Rio's production plunged 15%. And when compared to the first quarter last year, production fell at 6.2, standing at just 71.7 metric tons. Rio's Pilbara operations in the Western Australian region have also been obstructed due to a shortfall of labour accompanied by supply chain bottlenecks. As compared to the first quarter last year, production from Pilbara fell by 6%, standing at just 71.7 metric tons. Then in March, COVID-related restrictions were revived in Western Australia, which led to an increase in the struggle faced by miners in the mineral-rich state. This in turn induced a hike in commodity prices due to an increase in pent-up demand. Meanwhile, Rio Tinto's aluminium production fell by 8% compared to the first quarter last year, and its bauxite production as well was in line with the first quarterly results standing at 13.6 metric tonnes. Mine copper production went up by 4% in the first quarter as compared to the previous year, while pellets and concentrates at IOC went up as well by 3%. COVID-related lockdowns in China and continuously soaring inflationary pressure, along with speculations of hoarding, have impacted Rio's performance, lowering its market expectations. Changes in the monetary policy amid geopolitical tensions have aggravated the situation for Rio. The company has recently cut ties with Russia as a retaliatory measure, which has also impacted its overall business operations. Rio Tinto PLC, which is a constituent of the FTSE 100 index, has provided its shareholders with a return of 22.24% since the start of this year. Although its one-year return as of the 20th of April is negative, standing at negative 1.76%. Now that you're up to speed, hit that bell icon to stay up to date. I'm Holly Shields for Kalkine Media.